Thank you for joining us this evening as we pray our eighth day of the Holy Spirit Novena. Today we pray for the gift of wisdom. Just a brief reminder before we begin the Novena that we will conclude our ninth and last day of our Holy Spirit Novena um, here in church at St. Genevieve um, after the um, Vigil Mass for 6 p.m. on Saturday. We'll be um, having a Holy Spirit um, Holy Hour a Pentecost Holy Hour from um, 6 to 7 on um, Pentecost Vigil. We'll have um, praise and worship and we'll um, conclude um, the um, Holy Spirit Novena. And we'll offer other um, prayers um, for an outpouring of the gifts and fruits um, of the Holy Spirit as we um, conclude our Pentecost Novena and have a, a Holy Spirit um, Holy Hour um, once again from 6 to 7 um, for Pentecost Vigil on Saturday um, here in church um, at St. Genevieve. We hope you'll be able to join us for that. Um, let us now begin our eighth day um, as we pray for the gift of wisdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and shall renew the face of the earth. Bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. The gift of wisdom, embodying all the other gifts, as charity embraces all the other virtues. Wisdom is the most perfect of the gifts. Of wisdom it is written, All good things came to me with her, and innumerable riches through her hands. It is the gift of wisdom that strengthens our faith, fortifies hope, perfects charity, and promotes the practice of virtue in the highest degree. Wisdom enlightens the mind to discern and relish things divine, in the appreciation of which earthly joys lose their Savior, whilst the cross of Christ yields a divine sweetness according to the words of the Savior. Take up thy cross and follow me, for my yoke is sweet and my burden light. Prayer, come, O Spirit of wisdom, and reveal to my soul the mysteries of heavenly things, their exceeding greatness, power, and beauty. Teach me to love them above and beyond all the passing joys and satisfactions of the earth. Help me attain them and possess them forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, I before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I endure the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, 
I implore you with the Orville Spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say you always and everywhere. Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work and the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God, and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you again for joining us for these eight days of our Holy Spirit Novena, and please join us in church tomorrow at 6 p.m. as we conclude our Novena and celebrate a holy hour of Pentecost.